the Breeders' Cup Phillies and Mares is next. This is a one more three foot on Group 1 for Phillies and Mares, obviously. And it's quite a decent sized field for this one. Maybe a little bit too big, to be honest. Let's take a look at the list. Hillside Cavern is at the top for Jim Murray. Last Trapanga for Darren Thompson. Santa Rosa Fruit, Vinnie Gerard, Spungard. David Robertson, Alba Flora, Dan Hughes, Empire of Angels, Paul Rose, Exeno Pound, David Robertson, Land of Hope, Joshua Sutherland, Nature Queen, Leon Van Rensburg, Palmdale Grief, Vinnie Gerard, Perfect Diva, Paul Rhodes, Time for Success, Leon Van Rensburg, Trapanga Bridge, Darren Thompson, and Valento Rider for Dan Hughes is the bottom one, so 14, that's not too bad. 14 should be manageable on the two, of course. And installed and ready, and off they go. A little bit slow to go on the far side with Spunga Hard, but it's going to be perfect diva, I think. He's going to be one of the first to show with Hillside Cavern. Now coming through for Jim Murray in time for success. He's also up there in that little leading group as well. So, sort of themselves out there. It's Hillside Cavern who settled down into the lead and has quickly gone three or four clear from Trapanga Bridge in second in the white sleeves. Then the red jacket of perfect diva is third. With Empire of Angels close up as well, so to time for success. And on the inside, last Strapanga, so both Darren Thompson and Strapangas are up in the leading group. And David Robertson's pair are also to the fore as well. Exano Pound and Sponga Hard, who started slowly. Then Dan Hughes's two greys are resting together as well. With Land of Hope on their outside, Vinnie Gerrard's two greys are also virtually racing together, although they're separated by one of the Dan Hughes horses and Nature Queen is the back marker so on this bottom turn and Hillside Cavern is four lengths clear of Time for Success and Trapanga Bridge then Last Trapanga and Excello Pound Sponga Heart and Empire of Angels Perfect Diva has just lost its place a little bit Land of Hope is coming wide one of Vinnie Gerard's two is coming even wider still difficult to figure out which one it is I think it's Santa Rosa Fruit but they're coming past the five furlong pole now and it's Hillside Cavern who's in the lead from Exano Pound who's moved through into second Empire of Angels is in third Trapanga Bridge and Last Trapanga are next and in time for success Sponga Heart just losing its place a little bit Land of Hope making a bit of ground so too is Nature Queen Santa Rosa Fruit is going very wide on the track and Palmdale Grizz got a lot of work to do out of the back Valento Rider doesn't seem to be handling the turn all that well either as they now swing through into the straight it's Hillside Cavern who leads by about two lengths to Lastra Panga and Exano Pound Empire of Angels between them and time for success trying to get into it as well but past the two and it's still Jim Murray's Hillside Cavern is clear from Trapanga Bridge and Lastra Panga Exano Pound Sponger Hard coming through now into second but it's Hillside Cavern who's holding on past the furlong pole now here come the Darren Thompson bear last Trapanga but Sponga Hard at the centre of the track being chased by Santa Rosa Fruit Sponga Hard's gone into the lead last Trapanga on the rail Sponga Hard in the lead in the moment from last Trapanga Santa Rosa Fruit finishing quickly but Sponga Hard taking it last Trapanga second Santa Rosa Fruit third Palmdale Green finished well for fourth might need another furlong that one and Alba Flora out the back didn't get into it at all today and Sponga Hard Holding on, Sponga Hard, Sponge Hard, I think, I don't know which one it is, but anyway, it's one Sponga Hard for David Robertson, Last Trapanga for Darren Thompson was second, Vinnie Gerard third and fourth, Santa Rosa Fruit and Palmdale Greed, and Land of Hope was fifth for Joshua Sutherland.